Hi, this video will serve as a reminder to students of the academic integrity expectations of Grays Lake Central District 127. Please pay attention to the video and answer the questions as we move through it. Quick overview as to where we're headed. What is academic integrity? Why do students cheat or plagiarize? We're going to give examples of academic dishonesty, talk a little bit about the interventions that happen, and have a, a discussion. First, what is academic integrity? Academic integrity is defined as the value of being honest, ethical, and thorough in all of your academic work. You are watching this video because the, a teacher or a staff member found that the academic integrity of your work may not have met the expectations set forth here by the district. So why do students cheat or plagiarize, right? Why does this happen? Well, we want to have a particular grade, right? Grades matter. There's a fear of failing. Maybe we procrastinated to the last possible second, or we had poor time management. Maybe you were just disinterested in the assignment. We really didn't give it our all. Maybe there was confusion about our plagiarism and cheating expectations here at Grays Lake Central. Or there was a failure on the student and teacher, uh, student's part to understand content or skills. And the student did not get clarification from the teachers. Statistics say that at least 68% of high school students have plagiarized. Okay. Some examples of plagiarism and, and dishonesty. When you take credit for somebody else's work without acknowledgement, when you use somebody else's essay paper or course materials without acknowledgement, you have somebody else write or rewrite your work for you, or you use copy and paste the material from online databases, collaborate with others without permission, or give another student your work or use another student's work. We also are going to add uh, the use of AI or unauthorized use of AI or AI bots or anything like that websites to uh, gain an advantage and express thoughts or answers that are not your own. Right? When you give or receive information or verbal communication, or when you talk to another student during an assessment, or you consult other resources, we talked about Translate, we talked about AI, we also have Google Translate without permission from your teacher. Any other action intended to obtain credit for work that is not one's own. We want to know your thoughts, not your friend's thoughts, not Bard's thoughts, not ChatGPT's thoughts, your thoughts, your answers. That's, why you're, that's what your teachers want to know. So some interventions here. At Grays Lake, uh, we have a couple of academic interventions and uh, we have those written out here. There's different ones for formative assessments and summative assessments. For further, further information on this, uh, please talk to your teacher and they will give you more information. Okay, behavioral interventions. So we've got academic interventions that have that impact your grade, and then we have the behavioral interventions that impact the behavior of, the, of create, or committing academic dishonesty. So we have the first incident, second incident, and third incident. Okay, that first incident, um, you're completing the Schoology course. This is what you're doing right now. Second incident and third incident, you see the consequences uh, elevate and also will refer to or could possibly refer to a code referral um, for your sport or extracurricular activity. All right, so please be aware of these consequences. These actions have consequences. And you're, again, you're watching this video uh, because you're in the first incident situation. Right, the second and third incidents, there's even greater consequences, and you need to be aware of that. Okay, so real quick, it's August. You have an upcoming math assessment, and you feel overwhelmed or underprepared. You're on the soccer team, and you have a part time job. Oh my gosh, what do you do for this math assessment? Right, well, things to consider. Did you complete the formative work? Did you speak with your teacher? Did you visit the mark? Did you schedule or meet with a counselor to consider maybe a different course or a schedule change? Or reflect and did you put too much on your plate outside of academics with your job and with athletics? So what do you do? How would you handle that situation? Let's take a look. Hypothetical number two. It's 8 p.m. You have an essay due for English the next day. Your close friend in another class shoots you a text and says, hey, will you please share your Google Docs so he or she can get some ideas? What do you do? Here's some things to consider. Is it a collaborative assessment? Did your teacher allow you to collaborate in this case? 
Can you help any other or offer any other assistance in a different way besides sharing your work? Can you control how much your friend uses versus doesn't use once you share your doc? Can you do that? You really can't because once they have it, they have it. If something breaks down and your friend uses it too much, is that considered plagiarism on your part? Well, you're going to be called for a conversation if it, if it is. Third hypo uh, hypothetical. Can you, you complete a science lab with a partner, but you're supposed to write your own lab report. Your partner finishes the report first. It looks pretty good. It represents your own thinking. You did do the lab together, right? So you want to use it for reference, but change every three to five words. Is that academic dishonesty in your mind? What do you think? All right. What parts of the lab were meant to be collaborative? Okay. Doing the lab is different than writing the lab report. What is an appropriate way to summarize or paraphrase someone else's work? Okay. How does this compromise your lab partner's integrity and grade? This would also impact them. All right. And is there something other than time preventing you from doing this assignment? All right. Be thinking about those and how you could approach them. Okay. So just in, in closing here, academic integrity is embracing opportunities to learn, right? Being honest with your with what you know trusting your intellect and taking pride in your work. It's not stealing someone else. It, it isn't stealing somebody else's idea. Collaborating using AI without permission. And some teachers may let you use it, but that's up to the teacher. And submitting an assessment that isn't your own. Academic integrity is also completing those formative assessments, accepting teacher feedback and asking for help, advocating for reassessment and going through those guidelines, and using the mark and the right room. Okay. Academic integrity isn't skipping formatives. I'll just blow it off. We'll, we'll get it later, right? Uh, being complacent, taking shortcuts, and giving up, just saying forget it, and accepting the failure. You have the ability to, to be successful in that case. Okay, so let's have a great year, and thank you very much for your attention in this video.